So welcome to another technology and review video. So finally, um, we managed to get hold of one of these devices. So we had originally ordered a Core i5 version of this medium PC. Uh, it's an all-in-one 27 inch HD display with um, eight gig of memory, 256 gig um, SSD boot drive and a one terabyte hard disk. Um, so it comes with all of the usual gubbins, um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, Windows 10 Home and keyboard and mouse. So by no means is this um, a Mac killer at all, um, but it's, we, it's a reasonable cost basically. So the original i5 version that we wanted to buy was around about £680. Um, this one is £840-odd, um, and this is a Core i7 processor. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to get it unboxed, have a look at it, because this is going to a customer um, of ours next week. So the plan is to migrate all the data off their old machine onto this one we're not going to go through any of that today so all we're going to do is unbox this get it plugged in get it running and then do a review of connectivity show you um, what your connectivity options are um, and see whether we feel it's justifying the price when you look at comparisons um, against other suppliers they're well over the thousand pound mark so um, this was probably the cheapest one that we could find that's an all-in-one with an i7 processor and um, ssd boot drive so let's um let's see if we can get into the box itself it's absolutely enormous as you can see it's taken up all of the uh, the desk area So we have seen um, the brand before. So the brand that we've previously worked with um, was a was a laptop. In actual fact, it was a gaming laptop from Medium. So in here we've got the um, wireless keyboard and mouse. Looks quite premium um, in a silver metal stainless steel design. Um, that looks quite quite nice. And doesn't say whether it is backlit. I presume it's not a backlit keyboard. So there's that. What else have we got in here? So we've got the typical power brick. So um, this is uh, 90 watts, 90 watt power brick, which you kind of expect for an i7 processor and the UK cable. Okay, so we've got a stand that's built into the packaging so let's see if we can remove all of this so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put this down sideways and then we're going to slide this out using the packaging so it's packaged very well and of course the handles always go up on the inside and stop you from getting it out but this looks good so we'll just slide that out like that and then we can remove the base stand it's a temporary thing and then we'll get the rest of this out remove the packaging from there Get rid of this enormous box so at least we've got some uh, desk estate again in the box also we've got the typical um, documentation uh, conditions of use and looks like uh, the usual manual of which we never bother reading okay so let's get the stand on that just goes in one way. Uh, one of the things that is immediately evident is on the stand itself. Normally you get a tab on the stand that you can just uh, 
used to screw in. There's no tab on this one, so it's uh, it is a screwdriver job to get that installed like that. Then we can stand it up. Let's just have a quick look at the back. So we'll remove that. So connectivity on the back, we've got uh, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports by the look of it. Yep, which they are. And we've got headphone, microphone, HDMI uh, port, network port and power. And that's it. Any connections on the side? No connections on the side and no connections underneath either. Build quality. Uh, on the bottom underneath the screen, there's just some little sticky tabs that are covering the screws. Um, so yeah, make of it as you wish. And then on the top here, you've got your, um, your webcam with a privacy slider that just slides over the top. That feels pretty cheap to be honest and quite loose. That's just, uh, you can tap it, so it's not the best uh, not the best quality. So build quality could do with a little bit of improvement, but on the whole, it's not bad for a Core i7 10th gen with a clock speed, base clock speed of 1.3 gigahertz bursting upwards. So let's get this plugged in and connected and see what the screen looks like, see what the display looks like. So we've gone for some extra connectivity options for our client. We've got a USB 3 hub and um, they wanted a DVD writer as well. So we've ordered them a USB DVD writer that will plug into the hub. Um, and they've got another a number of peripherals that they needed uh, more than four USB ports because they want US they want to be using USB 3 so they're going to be using the hub in one of the USB 3 ports which gives some extra connectivity there um, they are not going to be using the USB 2 hubs okay that is power button underneath there a little sticker covering that up to tell you where it is there's some other stickers on the um, on the wording but we're going to ignore that okay so the next thing that we want to do is we want to remove the keyboard wireless keyboard looks very nice okay so this has got a um, USB um, charger there so it looks like it's just rechargeable batteries let's hope they give us a a charging cable which they do so what we want to do is get that connected into one of the USB ports and get that charged up before we deliver it to them so that connects in here like so and then we'll plug that in one of the spare ports plug it into a USB 2 port switch that on and then the mouse. Okay, well that's interesting. So the mouse comes with a dongle. So <laughs> that's really disappointing that uh, you have to use a dongle with the mouse. You would have thought that um, that would have come as standard. So therefore that's another uh, USB port that's gone. So just as well we got the May USB hub really so it could really do with more USB ports this but uh, if you're going to use a USB hub then that's absolutely fine okay now let's get it switched on and see what the display is like first of all we need some power that always helps Okay, so no rotation on the stand, just up and down, but it's got quite a lot of tilt on it, so that looks okay. So the first step, uh, 
can't see any mouse, there we go, English United Kingdom. I'm just going to step through these. We've done this uh, loads of times in the past, so I'm not going to uh, go through what all of the options are. If you're familiar with Windows 10 install, then um, you should be familiar with all of these options. And then the final bit of the setup, preparing the profile, and then it should log straight in. Okay, so just uh, checking on the mouse actually, there's a, a charge port on the mouse as well, so use the cable switching between the two of them to get them charged. Once they're charged, then I'm not sure how long they're gonna last, but at least they supply um, the micro USB charging cable for that. Okay, so I can hear a bit of fan noise straight away, but I'm sure that will quieten down. So this is a 10th gen processor. I can't remember if I told you guys that, but um, it should be able to handle the power and also um, it should be quite energy efficient. So the next thing that we'll do is we will run through getting all the Windows updates done um, and then we'll just have a quick recap while that, uh, before we do that for you guys because you guys don't need to see that. So what do we think about the build quality? So the build quality is okay. Um, the only thing, as I say up here, is this uh, webcam privacy cover is, is very loose. Um, there's no rotation on the stand itself, um, but there's, there's plenty of tilt on here. Uh, connectivity wise, um, yeah, definitely need more USB ports on it. Um, otherwise you've got to, you've got to buy, uh, as we've done buy a USB three hub for use. Screen quality is very good. Um, this is a 27 inch monitor. This is enormous. So, uh, you know, the, the customer's gonna have no problems with that at all, and it should be fairly responsive. Fan's quieting down already, so when it's when it's doing its workload, the fan will ramp up, and then it will slow down again. Yes, 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 notifications, we know. So let's just minimize the audio. So just to check, to show you the backside around here. Um, so we've we're using up two USB ports straight away. One port for the uh, the mouse dongle and the second port for the charging cable. So you're really limited with the two USB ports here. Separate microphone and headphone socket. Um, separate HDMI port and gigabit ethernet there. And obviously Wi-Fi built in. Um, so overall, uh, the system's pretty light, even with the stand on it. Um, Will you get a bit of wobble on it? Probably not. And um, do we think it's worth the money? Yeah, absolutely. £840 for an i7 processor, um, 8 gig of memory, 256 gig SSD boot drive and one terabyte, uh, one terabyte data store. So let's have a look at that and see. Have a look in here. There we go. So you lose a little bit, but the boot drive um, 236 and then you've got all of your data here. So what we do want to do is just double check to make sure that actually the it's using the D drive for the data uh, location, which it's not. So it's using the C drive for the location, which is absolutely crazy. So therefore what they're expecting you to do is to, if you don't know, then you're not going to have your user folders on your D drive. Um, you know, default is just going to go on the C drive and therefore it's going to fill up. So that's a little bit disappointing that um, they hadn't done a, an install script that actually moved all of that content over to the D drive. Uh, you've got to go through that and do that afterwards. So um, 
The way you do that is click on the folder that you want to uh, move, do a right click, go to properties, and then go to the location, and then um, change the C drive to the D drive, and apply that and said do you want to create it yes we do and we want to move all of the data over there as well and then we do this for all of these folders basically so we go into the downloads directory do exactly the same go into the location set the location as d apply that yes you want to create it and yes you want to move any data that is in there to the d drive Desktop, going to do it for the desktop as well. Properties, location, D drive. Yes, we want to create it. Yes, we want to move everything. Okay, that. And then we want to do pictures. And again, location. D drive done music and videos <clears throat> everything else can stay in the C drive it's not that important but everywhere where you're going to have a significant amount of data then um, you want to make sure that you move it music So when you weigh up the changes that you need to do um, to the cost of the device itself, uh, it's still worth it, <laughs> um, you know, but the majority of people aren't going to know how to do this. So as I say, Median should have really um, had, a, had an install script or had that set already somewhere. OneDrive, um, yep, so we're going to we we'll need to change those that setting in OneDrive. So we'll do that. Unfortunately, you can't do it. So we we go through and we'll do that. Um, we'll do that when we get them signed in. So don't have an account collected. Unlink the PC. Okay. So. That is it. So now we've got the data store moved to the D drive um, and therefore uh, we're protecting our C drive. So if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to su subscribe to the channel and it'd be great if um, you've got any comments, leave them below. Uh, apart from that, just like to say thanks for watching. <laughs>